she not from the clip. Okay, so today I'm going to be trying out the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation and it's just a sample. I got it from work. And the shade I am is in 6W1. So when I picked the foundation up, the girl told me that I needed to moisturize. So I've already like taken necessary precautions. So like make sure my face is moisturized. Um, now I'm gonna prime. I'm going to start with the Nivea Post Shave Balm. Then I'm gonna take, now I'm gonna take the Pore Vanishing Stick from the Estee Edit line by Estee Lauder. And I'm just going to, and I'm gonna run this over my cheeks. So it looks like. And I'm gonna just pat it in with my fingertips. And lastly, I'm gonna uh, hit my face with a little setting spray, the Dewy, the NYX Dewy setting spray, just because I feel like this does give like a little bit of moisture before I start. So this is what the bottle looks like. Um, I am a little bit nervous because they told me it was like really matte, and I tried the Chanel foundation. And that was so mad that my skin freaked out. Like I looked wet by the end of the day. So I am a little nervous. So I'm just going to take a little bit on the back of my hand. And I am going to try this with my Beauty Blender first. And then I have my Sigma Kabuki brush. The F80 brush on standby just in case. So far, it's actually gone a longer way than my Lancome. So normally I dip, I, normally I do like a pump and a half of my Lancome, dip into it once and I cover this cheek. Well, I dye all over my face, cover this cheek and like blend this out. And I don't know, I don't know if it's better than my Lancome. It doesn't feel heavy. It doesn't feel super matte. It's already like way more blendable than my uh, than that Chanel when I had. So so far I do like it. Um, I'm not sure about the color just yet, but um, the color isn't so far off that I can't fix it. So if nothing else, I will just fix it. so good it covers everything um, I like the way it feels it doesn't feel heavy it doesn't feel cakey um, now I do have normal to dry skin type but I did moisturize heavily before this video also just because it's also winter or it's starting to get to the colder months basically because I live in Florida it's not really winter here it's still like fall type weather here um, so I heavily moisturized just because it is starting to get into the colder months and I want to do that anyway. Um, so I'm going to finish the rest of my face routine and uh, I'll come back and let you guys know what I think. So right now it is 11.42 a.m. Um, so I'll probably come back like maybe 5, maybe 6 o'clock. I don't have a ring light so like after the sun goes down I'm basically screwed. So I'll do my best to come back um, later before it gets dark to like show you guys what it looks like. Right now it already it looks like it's drying down matte. Whoa. It didn't transfer to my fingers. But it feels matte. It doesn't feel like sticky matte though. It feels natural. I might like this as much as I like my Lancome. Um, I think the color may be a little dark. I don't know. We'll see.
<clears throat> all right guys so it's been i think now actually let me see what time we're in now wow i can't see that it's 5 11 so from almost 12 o'clock i think i started at 11 42 or i finished at 11 42 until 5. this is what my face looks like now and so far i actually like it <clears throat> this is one of the few foundations that don't like didn't settle in my smile line so i'm very happy i definitely think this is going to be a foundation that i might actually invest in pretty soon i have all the specs down below sorry i'm watching coming to my i'll have all the specs down below too so you guys know what the foundation promises because i don't have it right now i've had a very long day of recording and filming and now i'm just eating but if you guys want to see this look i'll probably have it linked down below don't forget to subscribe like this video as well as hit the bell and join team pink and i'll see you guys in the next one